Michael Glendon and is founder and managing director of Shanghai-based research house Red Tech Advisors. He has more than 20 years specialist experience in technology. The last 10 of those have been dedicated to industry developments in China. He joins me live now from Shanghai. Thanks so much for speaking to us. And I actually wanted to start by asking you about a comment that you made about this share sale. You're saying that Ren Ren's IPO has taken place just as the industry's growth in China is moderating. Can you talk to me about that? Yeah, I think if you look at um, uh, the SNS, the social networking industry in general across China, the last uh, couple of years, especially 08 and 09, were the strongest years in China. Uh, in 2010, we saw the pure play uh, social networking sites like uh, Renren and, and Kaixin that will also list in a couple of months. Those guys started to slow down as users uh, were directed or, or uh, were lured over to new platforms such as microblogs that uh, Sina was probably the best champion of. Uh, so that definitely hurt uh, Renren's momentum during the last half of 2010. And so uh, if you look at those user numbers pretty closely, uh, you see uh, a significant decline. Uh, and that's also happened, I think, when you look at their revenue growth. Investors are, are investing in Renren, uh, saying that they want a huge growth story. Mm -hmm. But uh, over the last uh, couple of quarters, they haven't delivered that. And yet, shares in the company surged some 30% in New York. We're all watching to see how they do in the second day of trade now. We're clearly seeing strong demand from investors, aren't we? So where is this coming from if it's not based on the sort of fundamental numbers, if the revenue growth is not there? Uh, it's definitely uh, based on uh, what investors uh, and what management believes is a very strong uh, story for the future. And, and they're taking, uh, you know, China, uh, they're adding in the Internet, and, and they're layering on top uh, social networking. And, and they really believe that... Uh, uh, that is a default formula for success no matter who you are uh, in China. Uh, but uh, I think uh, over the next couple of months, we're going to find that there are other uh, very uh, competent competitors to Renren Ren that also uh, are working off of the same uh, formula. Uh, and that's going to be the challenge for Renren Ren in the future is to see if they can actually outdo uh, some of those very capable and larger competitors. And how difficult is it going to be for them to do that? Well, the good news for them is that uh, they have just raised uh, more than $700 million. So uh, they've topped off their war chest. And I, I think uh, they are willing to invest heavily in product development and sales. Uh, we saw that in their latest quarter that a lot of their uh, investment in R&D and, and sales and marketing is up substantially uh, from the year before and, and also from the quarter before. Uh, so, you know, that puts them in a, in a very mm. good position. Uh, but at the same time, uh, they have got competitors such as Tencent, uh, Sina, potentially Baidu as well, uh, that are bigger than them uh, and in many ways I think are meaner than them uh, and have a, a track record of going out and, and, and doing well in the Internet space and gathering users to them. Uh, Renren's operating in a pretty competitive field from what you say and it, its popularity in China definitely can't be compared to that of Facebook in the U.S., can it? So this is a tough no, uh, environment for them. Not, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, they've got 20 million, uh, roughly 25 million uh, active users here. Uh, Facebook claims that they have uh, in excess of uh, uh, 200 million users, probably closer to 250 million users. Uh, Facebook dominates the U.S. market, I believe, with more than 60 percent, uh, whereas if you look at Renren Ren here, uh, they've got a much smaller percentage in the market. Uh, and, and essentially, uh, I think Facebook also has access to a global uh, advertising uh, market online, whereas Facebook, whereas uh, Renren Ren only has access to the uh, Chinese market. So, uh, you know, many people are very correct in saying that uh, Renren Ren is not the Facebook of, of China, and there are many reasons for that. Okay, Michael Cunningham, founder and managing director of Red Tech Advisors, thank you so much.